Well, the latest winter storm to hit the east is gone, but not forgotten. It left more than a foot of snow in some places and is blamed for at least 24 deaths. Icy roads led to a wreck involving dozens of cars in Pennsylvania, and 389,000 homes and businesses are still without power. We have two reports. First, Terrell Brown in Kearney, New Jersey, where they got 15 inches of snow. Terrell? James, more snow has fallen in this town over the last two weeks than it normally gets in an entire winter, and crews are running out of places to put it. The snow is heavy, wet, and exhausting to move. Stephen LeRae's SUV has been buried for three days. What are you guys doing with it? Just trying to get rid of it, throwing it on sidewalks, throwing it in people's backyards, throwing it on people's cars. It's, it's ridiculous what's going on. Icy roads narrowed by mounds of snow made driving dangerous. 30 people were hurt in the series of accidents that shut down the Pennsylvania Turnpike today. Heather Pascoe's car was hit by a truck. I looked in my rear mirror, I saw him, and I thought I was done. I mean, I, was, I thought I was done. The entire back end of my car is gone. Staying home could be risky, too, as dozens of roofs collapsed across the Northeast. The Kearney Fire Department was responding to its third cave-in when we saw them. Normally the salt is, our, is filled up to here. but as Public Works Superintendent empty. Jerry Kerr showed us uh, what's left of his salt supply. Wall. If there were another big storm, are you in trouble? Yes, a lot of trouble. We'd have to actually physically close streets for the safety of the general public. Four and a half feet of snow this winter has forced New York City to add $35 million to its cleanup budget. And Philadelphia, with 55 inches, has spent nearly twice what it had planned. Eight inches of snow could fall in portions of the Northeast tomorrow, but James, temperatures next week could hit the 50s, possibly melting some of this mess. Pleasant news to many years, I'm sure. Terrell, thank you so much.